Now we only have four levels of organization beyond the multicellular critter level or, or just critter in general. And the first one is population. And remember a population is similar critters, like critters of the same species that are living together in a group that can reproduce. Population is tricky to define because really there should be borders on your population. Um, and we'll, again, huh, what do you know? We'll talk about that in more detail. When we start talking about evolution and um, genetics, heredity, populations are going to come into play because that's who you make babies with. And those that you make babies with determine what your babies are actually going to look like. Populations do not live in isolation. So they all they live in communities and they're impacted by the other living critters in their scene. And, you know, it's pretty easy to think about. Um, I feel like I definitely live in a community. My kids, bugs, the cockroaches, the ants, um, the, the cat across the street that comes over and does things in our yard, like the garden in the back, like there's definitely the trees out my window. There's definitely a community of critters that is living in this space. And it's easy for me to visualize that we're all different, but we all kind of impact each other. And, and that, that's a level of organization beyond the population. And then when we include the planet, when we include the non-living um earth and the things that aren't alive. I was about to say, when you include the trees, trees are alive. So they don't count as these this non-living stuff. The soil, the weather, the water, this is all, these are the factors that set up the ecosystem. And then just for fun, and again, I include this um, basically to keep us in perspective that this whole thing exists in on the planet Earth. Like that's our biosphere. That's our zone of, um, that's where we live with all the things that impact us and that we impact. All right. After all that, you would think you now have a definition of life, but you don't. You only have an acknowledgement <laughs> that the cell is the first place where we see the characteristics of life and that everything, all matter, has hierarchical organization. So let's look at what are those characteristics of life anyway?